Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth video of my Pillars of Eternity Beta Let's Play, playing with a modded party. So in the previous video, I actually dealt with the Orlin, known as Nivre, in the Dracogen Inn, and we also got a quest from a Lord Harond as well. So currently, I have to go and pay Medrath a visit, uh, to tell him what, what went on with uh, Nivre, and also I need to... Uh, find out a bit more about uh, Elise's disappearance by asking people in the village. And then after I've done that, I've got to be heading off east uh, to over here. I can't remember what the map is called over there. Deer Crossing, maybe? So, right, so let's go and pay Madrath huh? a visit then. Got it. Uh, probably on route. Let's ask at well, least normal villagers. I don't think they would help me out with the uh, Haron's uh, daughter. So there's not much point in asking to them. Asking them. Uh, they do have perhaps the odd interesting thing to say then. Let's talk to the farmer, see if he knows anything. Okay, any sign of that ogre or its head? Um, so we've got an aggressive option. I'm going to use that one I think. So enough about the ogre already. I'm looking for a young noble woman named Elise. His hands curl into knobby fists. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I already told the snooping guards I haven't seen her, but that hasn't kept them from nosing around my property. And right, so let's leave that as it is. Right, so he doesn't know anything. Mm, got it. That would seem. Okay, let's talk to that guard, see if he says anything different. Nope. Alright. Let's talk to Medrath. I think if you talk to these, they just tell you to, uh, yeah, talk to Medrath, basically. Okay, well, any luck with Nivre? Um, let's ask him that first. Afraid not, I've just been watching for Nivre. I think I've met the woman you're talking about. Excellent, then go back to her and tell her you didn't see anyone looking for her. Got it? Um, she told me she was on the run, but the rest of her story was different from yours. I'm going to say that one first. Of course it was. He looks at the cowl figure standing nearby. She's not going to tell you she's a child killer, is she? Just... He makes a broad wave of emotion toward town. Go back and find her and get her to come out. So, I could attack him, I could just leave. That's a bit odd. I'd have thought there'd be another option to say that I'd already killed her. I'm going to leave. Let's try and talk to him again. Right, now we've got this option here. You, oh, he blinks. That means I don't have to stick around this mud hole any longer. He fishes a coin pouch out of his cloak. You have my thanks. House Dominell will be grateful too. He winks. Farewell. House Dominell, minor positive. You said she was a murderer. What does the Dominell family have to do with this? He shrugs. I may have stretched the truth a little, but she was definitely a double-crossing thief, so you've still done a deal with a service. Let's not forget that you've also done the Dominals a service and they're good friends to have. Now, I could attack him because he lied to me or I could just say farewell. No, I'm just going to say farewell, I think. If you... There is an option where you can lure Nivre uh, towards Medrath and I think you actually get a bigger reputation bonus with the Dominals if you do that. So, but I, that wasn't available to me mm. because of my low resolve. No problem. But we've got a ton of experience for doing that, so I can actually level up now. Uh, I'm going to do that in a minute. I think I'm going to go in a church and see if that priest knows anything about uh, Elise's disappearance. Who knows, she may have uh, gone to speak to him. So let's come down here. 
Right, I've got to look through my stash to see what weapons I want to distribute as well that I recently got from Nivray's group. And I have to level up. Right, so first things first, I'm going to save the game. Okay, so let's have a look at the weapons and armor I got from Nivray's group. I don't think any of those are any use. All of those are for enchanting basic ingredients in the main. Uh, so in terms of armor, that plate armor will be great for my dwarf chanter, I believe. There's fine male armor, that might be pretty good as well. Uh, so what else do I want? They're all nine at best, I think. So I could give certain well, I could have no armor for certain of my characters if I wanted them to be quicker in attack. The recovery speed thing is to do with how quickly they attack. Um, so this guy's got fine mail armor. Let's take that off. This guy's have heavy armor. Uh, minus 50% though, so he doesn't attack very often. But Slash and Pierce, it's got brilliant defense. It's only weakness, it's really shock. So they both got plates. Breastplate is particularly good at pierce, which is pierce is every and single ranged weapon going, I think. Uh, so crossbows, arbalists, pistols, all of them, bows. Uh, so it's pretty good for people who are not maybe in the front of the action, but behind it, definitely. So I quite like her having that. What's this give you? That's bad at crush. But amazing at slash DR11. What's PS13? Um, both of those are fine, so let's replace that. Put that there. I could probably sell some stuff and maybe buy some stuff, but I can't be bothered buying stuff at the moment. So, Potion of Endurance. Or should I give that to. Um, maybe you could give it to him, but he probably doesn't need it. I could give him fine male armor as well. I think I quite like the speed with him though at the moment. I probably would give him a breastplate if I had another one for protection against long range and. Well, it's still quite slow, but not as slow as the 50% plate armor. So, what next? Let's look at the weapons. Now, I've actually got a couple of grimoires. I think I've picked up one from the Nivre group, and also had one from the original wizard companions. I could put them over there. I'm not sure how you actually... Ooh. Can you learn the spell by pressing on that? I'll have to figure that out in a second. Gilgast the staff, I might want that. Ooh, Archibus. So I'm not sure I'm gonna give that to. Morning star. Put that there. Find stiletto. The sword in there. Find saber. All those shields aren't as good as the ones I've got. Yeah, let's try that then. Ah, so you have to spend money to get uh, those. Uh, I don't think I want to change my spells. I've uh, carefully selected the ones I've already got already, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't mind another level, f second level spell though, actually. So what's that do? Blinded. It's converted to crits. And corrosion. I'm okay. I can't be bothered doing that. Fine, fine. Quartz kind of staff. I think. I can't remember which one the Archibus is, is it? Yeah, the Blunderbus is the shotgun one, isn't it? So this one, I think I'll give it to her. 
prepared a crossbow. And she can have a bow. Right. I think that's it for that. So let's actually upgrade our party. So I think I'll continue to upgrade the athletics on this fighter. It's at this level, level five, you get these weapon specializations. They're not actually the same ones as the basic ones. They give you extra damage instead of accuracy. But I think you can only pick one of these at level five. So if you want to pick one of those, this is the time to do it. But I don't think I actually want to. So this is a defensive fighter. It just doesn't need it. I'm going to pick into the fray. This will allow him to grab people to bring him into range and if they're attacking him then they're not doing damage to anyone else so I think this is a really good skill for him for a defensive fighter okay my chanter uh, I think I'm gonna specialize in survival because I don't have anyone who's specializing in survival so I'm gonna put a couple of points into there right wasn't originally what I was gonna do but I've changed my mind um, so we've got a chant now. All these second level chants I'm not really a big fan of, to be honest. That can, that can be pretty good. Very good if you've got a lot of ranged guys. So, yeah, that wouldn't be bad for us. Or terrible for us. Don't like that that much. I haven't really tried that one out, so I'm not sure how good it is. That could be okay. The lions have a fry, uh, terrify effect, but it doesn't last very long, though, so I'm not sure you really need it that much. And I think my paladin already, when they kill someone, they actually cause terror or fright, something like that, so I'm not sure I need that one either. I'm going to try that one, but probably not going to use it very often. Paladin. Gonna continue getting more lore with her. Uh, I already have a zealous ability, so there's not much point in getting more than one because they're modal abilities. You can only use one at one time. Not really sure how good that one is, so I'm not gonna pick that. Liberating exhortation is really excellent, though. That suspends hostile effects, and she's got. Um, the maximum intelligence as well, so this lasts 50% longer. So we're going to take that and let's level up the rogue. So I want to focus on stealth with her, I think. I prefer her to have a ton of pistols, but I don't have them yet. Okay, that's melee. Helps in melee, I'm not sure I want that. I don't think that's much use because she can go invisible anyway. That's not too bad. That's per rest, so I don't really like that that much. That only works if you're getting attacked, and I don't plan on getting attacked with her. I think I'm going to go for dirty fighting. I think it unlocks the talent as well, if I'm remembering correctly. So Let's go for that. I'm not checking my notes here, so I'm trying to remember what everything does here. So let's keep on going for mechanics with the wizard. And we can have two level three spells. And I probably should check my notes for this one. Right, so once Arcane Dampener, that's absolutely amazing. It's one of the few wizard effects that uh beneficial to your allies. Pretty much the only one actually, so I'm going to take that. It's very offensive minded wizards are. And... What next? I think... I don't have a corrosive spell yet, so I think I'm going to take that one. There's so the wizards have too many spells, frankly. The 
spellcasters do, it's impossible to figure out which is the best to take unless you really spend a lot of time looking through all of them and trying them out. Um, I have actually done that, so yeah, I'm going to take that with a wizard anyway, I haven't done it with a priest or a druid yet. Right, let's uh, press done. And that's the party leveled up. Okay. Right, let's get mm -hmm. this going again. Sure. Okay, what um, formation are we... So we spoke to the farmer. I need to speak to all the main characters about Lady Elise now. So, who else? Speak to Winfrey. Okay. Welcome. I'm looking for a young woman named Elise. That lord's got you asking around too, eh? He grunts. At least you ask politely enough. Bad enough having a small army move into town, but then they start throwing their weight around and telling you your business. Ooh, there's quite a few options here. He shakes his head and clucks. That's the problem with these lords. They think their money and their family name entitle them to some kind of special treatment. They expect everyone to fawn over them the way their servants do. No sir, that's not the kind of people we are, not here in the Deerwood. We broke away from Edir to get away from that kind of nonsense. If they think... Right, so... Let's uh, continue with the aggressive option, I think. So, find the point before I lose my temper. He points at you, his hand shaking with excitement and emotion. There, that's the kind of attitude I'm talking about. You stroll into this village, no respect for other people, and just expect them to jump on your commands because you say so. Well, like I told you, and I like I told those soldiers, that's not how we do things out here. The last man who tried to boss us around was an emperor, and we told him right where we could shove it. He could shove it, if you'll pardon the expression. Right, so... Didn't get any information out of him. She got lectured. Let's ask Hadina, is it? Sure. Puff Curry. How do you do? Okay. She just one of her bandages. Anything else I can do for you? I've got some handy ointments if you're braving the roads anytime soon. Actually, I'm looking for a noble woman. Oh, that lord's daughter. She was a new shade of green when I seen her the other morning, chatting with Trigil. She was, just outside his shop. She points at the crumbling tower. Right, looks like we've got a lead. Um, there's a skill requirement, but sadly we don't meet that. Let's... Well, let's give her an option to say what she thinks wrong with her rather than tell her that she was ill. Um... Okay, she tugs at a bandage. No offence, but I hardly know you. I'm not one for gossip, and I certainly don't want to cause the poor, poor girl any trouble. L uh, Lord Haron said she was ill from travel. She laughs. That weren't no road sickness, trust me. I know it's when I see it. So, she's probably given you enough information to figure out what was wrong with her by now. Uh, right, so... That's it for that. And uh, we've got an extra addendum bit added, supposedly. Don't think it's added anything there. But... Right, so next lead is uh, Trigger. Okay, let's have a word for him. Last well, actually is. Apprentice first. What can you tell me about Elise Harond? He shrugs. Only that her father's men have been banning down doors and stirring up trouble looking for her. I never met her myself. He's lying. Hmm. Hadina said you two had met. He 
He folds his arms, the smell of tallow and animal done wafting off of him. Did she now? What else did she say? She saw the two of you talking. What was it about? Her father's dragged her out here to get hitched to some backward noble. She wanted an escape. All right, so I was happy to give it to her. Ooh. We snuck across the river a few nights ago for some private time. Come to find out we weren't exactly alone. An ogre taller than Winfrith's tails sprung out of the forest, and we were so lost in the heat of the moment, we didn't notice it until it was upon us. It grabbed Elise and disappeared into the night before I could even pull my britches up. So, why didn't you mention this to her father? So you abandon her cowards. I see why you've kept this to yourself. And it's a perception choice. Don't take this the wrong way, but this shop smells like an outhouse. Am I really to believe that a lord's daughter snuck into the woods with you? I think I'm going to go for that one. Triggle scowls. I'm afraid there's no right way to take that stranger. I could be diplomatic. I'm trying to remember what my paladin's thing was. It might have been diplomatic. Benevolent and diplomatic, so I'm not going to do that one. I don't repeat myself, not for you and not for some noble's toadies either. He wipes his dye-stained hands on his trousers and turns back to his work. Okay. So... Yeah, that's interesting. So what I could yeah. do... I don't think I'm going to get any more out of him. I could go and tell Lord Harond uh, what he told me. Or I could just go east and look for that ogre to see if he was telling the truth. I think I'd go to Harond Got first. It. See what he says. If you say anything. I haven't actually tried this before. So hmm? let's no come problem. Up here. <laughs> hmm? Have a word with the Well met friend. Barkeep. Right, there's nothing there. So yeah. well, I took the guard first. Okay. Right, we've actually got new speech options here, which I didn't realise. So what do you think that happened to her? House Harren Guard, he scratches his head. Could be a lot of things. The locals here don't seem to realise Hadret's rebellion ended 150 years ago. Crowing about the castle they tore down and built the village over. I wouldn't put something like this past them. He shrugs. If I knew anything concrete, we'd have, a, we'd have found it by now. Uh, you seem eager to leave Deerford. Who wouldn't be? The whole village stinks, smells like wet leather and pig shit. And the locals have nothing but contempt for anyone who bathes more than once a year. It shakes his head. They won't lift a finger to find Lady Elise. But it raises their hackles when we go looking for her. Tell me about Lady Elise. He shifts his weight. What's there to say? She's a lovely girl. Quiet. Keeps to herself. She'd make any father proud. Uh, I can use my perception. You don't seem to know her that well. My primary duties are to Lord Harond. Right, so there's no... Yes. Have you news there. of Elise? Elise. A few questions about of course. daughter. Yeah, there isn't an option to mention Trigil. Surprisingly. Yes. Have you... So it looks as if... Yeah? Sure. I'm going to have to go east and check out his claims about the ogre. Right, so what quest have I got left? Nest egg, that's out east. That's out east and that may be out east. Yeah? And spoiler alert, it is out east. Right, so it's actually... I haven't gone round the map picking up these uh, shrubs that you can find. There's one here, so I might as well pick it up. So the river hmm. reeds, you can use that for enchanting. Hmm. Okay. No problem. Right, 
let's quickly save again before I exit that map. Right, and go to Deerford Crossing. Take people prisoner, supposedly. Right, let's do some scouts and I shall change my formation. And I think this is probably a good point to end the video here. So in the next video, I'll start to explore the deer for crossing uh, in the lookout for that ogre and um, Lady Elise and that nest egg, get that dragon's egg as well. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.